we have another word ending. It's a grouping. It's T-I-E-N-T. -E so let's get practicing. <laughs> Our first word is quotient. Now this is what happens when you divide some numbers and you get an answer. We call that a quotient. Let's say it together, quotient. If you've been practicing letter combinations, Q-U makes a qu sound. And we use a long O, O, quo, quo, and T-I-E-N-T -E make shent, quo, shent. Let's look at that carefully. Quo, shent, quo, shent, quo, shent. So the next couple of words uses the word patient. So let's practice these a little more closely. Pay, a long A, pay and shent. Pay, shent. Pay, shent. Pay, shent. Pay, shent. Im, pay, shent. Impatient. Impatient. In, pay, shent. In, pay, shent. Inpatient, inpatient, inpatient. Be careful. Inpatient and impatient are two different words. Impatient, inpatient. Impatient, inpatient. Out patient. Out patient. Out patient. Inpatient. Out patient. Inpatient. Out patient. Our next word is insentient. Now, insentient means you can't feel feelings or you. You're not able to understand feelings. Like some people think dogs are insentient or animals in general are insentient, meaning they have no feelings. They don't feel sad or happy. And I totally disagree. Just look at this face. Insentient. 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 And sentient does not end in the sound shent, but still uses T I E N T. <sighs> Again, what's up with English? <laughs> Let's practice that one. Sentient means you're able to have feelings and understand them. Sent. Sent. Sentient. 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 This next word, well, it's dissentient. Dissentient. Let's look at that word a little more closely. Dissentient. 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 And what does that mean? Well, it means that it's the vote of the majority, that most people either agree or disagree with the outcome or the decision. <laughs> okay, so nine words. Let's say the words together. Remember, record yourself saying these words and listen to how you say them. Quotient. Patient. Impatient, inpatient, outpatient, dissentient, insentient, sentient. Ah, there's always one word that doesn't follow the rule. Sentient. Mm. Sentient. Who uses sentient? Not me. <laughs> Hey, great job. Excellent. 
I know it's not easy to learn another language, but practicing helps, and I hope these videos are helping. Those were some advanced words, weren't they? Well, if they were a little too difficult, go back and practice some more. You can also click here to start at the beginning of this series to help you find those letter combinations to help you with pronunciation. Okay, I'll be here next week. I hope you will too. Now, I do try to post videos on Mondays, but with summer here, it might not get posted till Tuesday. Uh, last week, I got bit by a jellyfish, and so the video came out very, very late. But you know how it is when there's warm weather and you've been stuck indoors and can't go out. And when it is nice, whoo-wee, it's party. <sighs> okay, I won't sing. I'm a better teacher than I am a singer. <laughs> All right, my students, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.